Hey you guys, welcome back, Stella's Knife Obsession. And I have a really special one today. This one was bought for me by my mother. And it's not something you would typically see me buy, but she thought of me. And I think it's a really, really sweet thing that she did this for me. She, This is 100% handmade and Although it may not be up my alley typically, I think it's, I've seen pictures and it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. So I'm going to use this, the one that I just finished last night to, uh, or, uh, yes, or the night before last night actually, to open it up. And we'll see. I am really, actually really excited about this. And I know my mom will be watching, so thank you, Mom. I'm, I'm really excited about this. So, let's see. I don't think that there are any, like, notes or anything that I, you know, that are included. I've, I've never, I don't know that I've ever had something delivered by DHL, so... I just didn't really know. So let's just make sure. Um, okay. Uh, it's just an invoice. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So there's that. Um, maybe I'll save that to use to, to test the, the edge. The gentleman that made this knife sent me a video of him testing the edge off. I, I mean, edge testing the edge out. So, wow. Holy crap. Wow, this is cool. Okay, let's get this up here. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. The, the thing that I find hilarious is I'm so impressed with the... Um, with the uh, sheath. I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the sheath. My mother specifically said, no, I want that sheath. And oh my God, look at that. Wow. There's a little thing here. You can put a little honing stone in there if you want. Even the buttons are cool. Wow. And you can smell the leather. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, wow. It's very nice. Very, very nice leather. Look at that. Holy crap. That's nice. Wow. Let's just see. Oh, man. I can't wait to take this thing oh, camping this summer. Ooh, let's see. It's got a lot of oil on it. So let me grab a, let me grab something real quick to wipe it off. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, this thing came from Pakistan so fast that it my head's spinning because I never get things from other countries so fast, ever. <laughs> wow, okay, so that's really oily. So, let's just wipe her off real quick. Ooh, wow. This is beautiful. So, just so you see, it's got this... Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Very thick. And, ooh, smells strong. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm, I know it's Damascus, obviously, but Damascus steel, but I'm not sure what they use as their core. A lot of Damascus steels have a core of VG10. Uh, I'll have to hit the guy up to see what he uses as a core, but as you can see, it is full tang. Wow. This thing's nice. It's got a very interesting smell. <laughs> I've just never smelled this kind of oil, this machine oil, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. So he puts these turquoise rock, uh, like uh, stones in the handle 
I believe the handle is bone. So, yeah, it looks like it's definitely bone. Yeah. And then, as you can see, it's full Damascus, but he only etches the blade itself, not the whole thing. But it's really cool. You can still see the lines. See, I love it when you can see the Damascus, like the steel uh, layers. So I might throw another edge on there, but ooh, that's, that's a good five, six millimeters. <laughs> oh yeah, this, look at that tip. It's reinforced. That's going to be a tough tip. Ooh. And then look, he put SKO on there for me. Wow, very cool. Yeah, wow. It feels so cool. Let's uh let's cut a piece of paper with it. Let's see. Wow. The ergos are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, you can choke up nicely and um it fits really nicely in my hand. Wow. Jeez, mom. I don't know what made you decide on this, but it's pretty cool. So it looks like these are kind of like beads that you that were made for like necklaces or something, but it still looks cool. Wow, that is one nice little knife. I uh, I thought it was going to be larger. It's not that big, really. I love the the sheath is amazing. Oh, the knife is amazing, too. I just, wow, I'm really blown away by this. Let's see. So the gentleman that I dealt with, um, I will put his a link to his um, Instagram in the description of this video. Let's, uh, let's see how well this cuts. Let's check out the edge. Yeah. Let's start down here. Um, it's a little weird down there, but, well, yeah, I'm going to put a, a nice edge on this thing, and, of course, before we take it out for camping, but as of right now, it has an edge, it's just, it's not razor sharp, but it's also not the thickest stock, I mean, the thinnest stock, this isn't meant for razor blade type of action, you know, Wow, I really love the blade. God. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that he strengthened the tip by putting a little swedge up here. Just the, the tiniest of swedges. Very cool, man. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Wow, Mom. I, oh man, that's nice. Look at that. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Wow. So amazing how Damascus works. And how you can make different, you know, like there's like feathering and there's just different shapes and things you can do with the layers, you know. It's just amazing. It makes you wonder how they started it off. Like, how do they m combine all that steel in layers to make a specific uh, shape or uh, uh, create a, a specific look on the blade? Like, I've seen very uniform uh, forms of Damascus. I've seen Thing, you know, many types like this to where it's it's not like specifically 
uh, like, I don't know, like they don't, I don't know a whole lot about Damascus. I just know that it's layers of steel and typically they use, um, VG 10 as the core layer. Um, but nowadays they, they can use so much, like I've seen copper even used in it. And I think that uh, it, using copper as one of the layers, it just, oh my God, is, it makes it so beautiful. It's just something new and different, you know, something different. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what my mother got for me. Um, thank you, Mom. This thing is really amazing. Um, it's really crazy. <laughs> crazy. Really crazy. That is a really cool trailing point blade. Very cool. I like it a lot. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be do, doing some different things this summer with uh, a couple of knives that I have uh, a lot of my I'm gonna put some pocket knives to the test actually when we go camping and I'm super excited to do some things um, that just to test out you know I have a few of these very long knives designed by um, <coughs> uh, who is it well one of my favorite designers that I can't think of right now. Um, I will, uh, I'll put, put the name up on the screen. Hold on. All right. So I, I, I wanted to show you one. This is, it's, they're by Kombu and I, they're just so, this is the Fanga. They're just so large. Um, even though they're slender knives, I still want to do some whacking on these spines I want to see how well they split wood. You know, I want to see how well they would perform. If this is the only knife you had on you in a survival situation, I'd like to know that this could uh, absolutely help help you survive. So I think, I mean, I'm not going to be skinning any animals or anything. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I needed to with this knife or any of my kombu designs, I could. I bet I could. Um... But you'll never see me skin any animals. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love animals way too much to be chopping them up. I, that's why I let somebody else chop them up for me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, I want to give my mother a call because this thing is awesome. And I want. And actually, it's a hollow grind, too. So even though it does have a very thick stock, you can see that it's not going to get when sharpening it's not going to get thick really fast so you're going to have uh it's it's you know it's not the thinnest behind the edge but it's not supposed to be either so i just man this thing is really cool i'm really happy with this i don't know why this made her think of me but man thank you so much mom wow this thing is pretty cool and you can feel the hollow grind it's pretty deep for a uh fixed blade very cool man anyway so on that note i hope you made it to the end i hope you find this interesting uh leave a comment below and let me know what do you think um if you like the content i bring you please if you're not already subscribe and sh click the bell for notifications share this if you feel the need to and Please come join us every Sunday at 4.30 Mountain Standard Time for a Sunday Fun Day Live. And it's always a lot of fun. I try to make it fun anyway. But on that note, I'll see you soon.